How? You bring in uh, two cans of Zions. Yeah. And you shake them up real good. <laughs> and you pop the caps and spray it everywhere like champagne. Be like, Zions! That's right. Sponsor! <laughs> Everyone, like... <laughs> have you watched the movie Spartacus or the TV show Spartacus? Have, do that. have the rain dance that I do. <laughs> Give me some Zions and then I like spray it on them and they're all dirty. That'd be. Tim, that'd be... You, can you do your rain dance on stream for <sighs> us sometime? I don't know. Maybe. When I hit 2,000 followers, I will. I'm only 800 away, so I got time to practice it. 800? Yeah, man. Tim, I'm catching up to you, man. You are. It's because you're popular. Everybody and famous. Can follow Tim on Twitter. Uh, at IPL Robin. Nah. Only if you care about the maps. That's all I care about right now. I'll do the rain dance just for you guys. Which everybody here cares about the maps. Yeah. There's 3,000 viewers right now, man. Um, this is actually so, a new map that we haven't played on yet. If oh, we hit Tim and hit 3,000 viewers today. 2,000 followers. 2,000 followers. Yeah, that's what I mean. We get to see him dance. I'll dance. I'll even. Guys. I'll I'm move the desk out of the way and I'll turn the camera sideways so that you guys get a full body shot of his rain dance. It's preposterous. <laughs> it's so dumb. You did it in front of uh, Nicole and and uh, was it Lisa or Adelita the other day? Lisa. But it was hilarious. They just fell. Nicole like fell on her one knee laughing. It's so, so funny. It's the only move I got, man. I do it once during like a huge drop, and then I walk away and go buy a beer. That way, they don't think I can't dance and do the rest of the moves. <laughs> My hips like literally start hurting when I dance. I don't know what it is, but I feel so it's awkward doing it. Because of what it. that dance is, <laughs> it's a lot more like okay. hip dancing yeah. than most masculine dancing that I'm accustomed with. I can't read this. <laughs> I can't do it. Even if I zoom in, it doesn't get more clear. <laughs> doesn't Maybe if we to... change the font size to being a little bigger, yeah, that could help. Uh, Jukdo, we'll actually, is this the first time he's gone for a hatchery first? No. Okay. I was going to say, man, he hasn't gone for a quick gas. But yeah, you're right, actually. Uh, he falls up in a double gas into a spawning pool, after a spawning pool. So, uh, guys, this is Sidewinder. Yep. We were talking about this map a little bit earlier. Casted it once. That was the map that we had a really cool base trade, unfortunately, that uh, we had uh, Crank mess up a little bit on. Yep. Uh, but it was still really cool. It's the up. darkest of the sand-based maps. <laughs> that is a good observation there. Well, sand castles and um, silver sands Correct. are definitely lighter in hue. They have a little bit more of a, a bluer tile set. It makes yeah. it a little bit more glowy. I think um, a little more yellow in the uh, in the sand castles. Yeah, for sure. And silvery sands. Well, blue makes more sense because it's silver, you know. Silver's got a little blue in it. Yeah, it seems like base trades, uh, as we think about a little bit more, base trades have Unless become very popular on this map. Uh, I think it's, been it's green. Yes. I'm trying to bring out points in your base all about colors. <laughs> I'm <laughs> talking about silver, man. Yeah. That I really colors. think base trades uh, will objects. happen a lot on this map. Yeah. Uh, if you go for the third over here, uh, which it makes things really exciting. Uh, so why, why do you think that is? I don't know. I just feel like uh, there's so many pathings between the third and the natural. And then when we saw the mutas being used into the main and doing a hefty amount of damage. Oh, no. The scoreboard. Okay. I'll fix it. After we get the game. Okay. Shh. <laughs> Oh, yeah, so we did want to clarify, though. This is uh, Choi, the Clarity Gaming Shuttle. There are two shuttle players, of course. Um, the player on SDX. SDX, so, yeah. Yep. So we're like, which shuttle is this? Uh, so I feel so bad for school boards, man. I don't even know how I got this job. I'm not going to lie to you. I should have made you observe. Well, it's your first time, uh, only your second time obsing mm -hmm. uh, since Play Him. Play Him. Miss you guys. Anyway, uh, I really feel like best trades are going to be a really big deal. As we saw with uh, Jukto, the first time we saw this map, um, the, the ability to do meta pokes into aggressive into the, uh, the third and then hit the natural at the same time. Yeah. Uh, speed and mobility could be really strong on this map. And I want to see how Terran deals with it, too. You have a drop here with two bed of X. Uh, pff, get a siege tank in there as well. Oh, my gosh. It's going to be so hard to deal with. Falling up into a nice push down the third. Uh, even then, a few Marines going into the natural against a Protoss player. Mm -hmm. I actually feel like Protoss would be a little bit weaker on this map now that I think about it over over time. Blink will become very necessary. You're going to have to have Blink on this map. All right, so Zergling's heading out here for Juke 2. He does have a Baneling Nest on the way already at just six minutes into the game and a lot of Speedling, so we are going to have some sort of uh, an attack here out of Juke 2. And quite an invested one at that. He's currently only sitting at a total of 27 workers. Wow. It's going to be quite an attack. Lane's starting to scurry across the middle of the map. Let's Listen take a look the at the... Um, before we get into this. What? Listen to the like the wind in the back. You hear that? Yeah. The ambient noise. Yeah. It's really cool. Great I feel like game. I'm running around in front of the Golden Saucer in Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> You're in that game, man. I need to play that game. Oh, tons I of melee's down the way. I never was able to defeat the Emerald Weapon. I beat Sephiroth in Kingdom Hearts. I defeated the Ruby Weapon. You beat Sephiroth in Kingdom Hearts? Yeah, he was in that Sephiroth game. Sephiroth was easy mode, man. Did you kill the Ruby Weapon? 
I don't know. Kill the Ruby weapon. He pulls one of your players out of combat. Well, looks like we have Bailings going straight forward. Going to go straight for the bunker. Nice job here for Shadow, focusing down the Bailings though with that bunker. Now, uh, oh, very good couple but the uh, SCVs. Yeah, the SCVs taking too much damage. Oh Jet, no! It? Oh no! Nice control. A Out good of initial hold there. Uh, how many workers did he kill? Uh, only four, actually. Yep. Looked like a lot more there. So 30 to 37, as we will have uh, Jukedo follow up into a nice amount of harvesters afterwards. And we're going to have a third command center pop up. So uh, should all not taking too much damage from there, but yeah, we I still mean, have Zerg on two base. On a scale of 1 to 10, the damage dealt was not enough. It was four. That was the, that was the damage done. I like that. All right. I'll give you a scale just by those numbers. Crease by moving us across the middle of the map, at least it's being a little bit more active with that. Falling up into a Roach Warren here. Uh, straight up, it looks like, into a second and third and fourth gas. Wow, so he really, 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 really wants to kill him. <laughs> I bet he does. He does want to win this game. Doesn't like his teammate, man. Does not like him. Uh, starport on the way already, so we're moving straight into Vikings already. So interesting choice here. Looks like we're going to have Viking, Banshee, Hellion moving straight to his opponent's natural. Uh, so really expecting a couple more factors to be thrown behind this. And yep, there they are actually. So Jukta with that Baneling bust, um, it seems like he thought that Shuttle was going to play very greedy and he was going to try to punish him for that. So I'm wondering now that Shuttle has held this off, is Shuttle actually going to play really greedy? I mean, it looks like it. Third. Uh, follow him in the factory. Tech is going to have Hellions control the map a little bit. Have Banshee here, which is a nice adamant amount of DPS. Um, actually, that'll make it a little bit harder for Roach to engage. Did you just say adamant? Yeah. No, I didn't. I don't even nice know what amount. that word means. I said a nice amount. Oh. I just talked too fast. I gotta slow that like, down, man. All right, Hellions coming in right now, and there's Lynx and Queens here to hold this, and an Overseer as well, so uh, Jukutu should be just fine, but he's cleaning up Creep, and this third is a little bit exposed, so this will be some nice damage that Shuttle can get in here. Now, this is where I would say adamant. Shuttle is really adamant about killing this third. Uh, really wanting to break it down very quickly here. Uh, so, Lynx coming in for a flank, though. I thought maybe there was an alternate usage of that word that I was not aware of. These Queens are so caught right now. Oh, but the Roach is coming from the side. That actually, why is oh, it being a... Oh, man. He almost gets it, saves it with 4 HP there. Hellions getting surrounded as well. Trying his best to micro. Shuttle doing a decent job here. Needs to kill those leagues and get away. He can't do it. Uh, uh, uh. One Hellion. No, I thought that was going to be the hero Hellion that would go home and tell the story of how he and his friends went on this valiant journey and all of them perished and he was the only one that came back. Tim, you have a point to make. The Queen's being focused down. Yeah. Allow the Banshees to just float over these roaches and do a lot yeah, of man. damage. That was the whole point of coming out the Queen off so we can just sit here and welt away on these roaches as he prepares for uh, the counterattack. And we're already moving into Siege Tanks. We have Siege Mode on the way. Only a little quarter of the way done, though, so got to be careful here. I like the run-by that he's going for with these Hellions. Gets them out nice and early, but the Overlord spots them, so that should queue a couple of units. Roaches are actually going to turn around and head home. And there are the Roaches queuing up for Jukto. Man, it's so amazing what a counterattack can do for you. It really prevents so much damage from happening. And this is only four Hellions that could potentially get some damage done as well. So um, I'm going to go ahead and start moving to the uh, third. The drones are being pulled off the line immediately here. Uh, oh, trying to get the ramp. Will he get a shot nice off? Hold. A little bit on the late side here. And now these Hellions are stuck in this natural. They'll get two drones. And then they'll all die. Nope. One Switch. drone, one drone, one drone, one drone. Go to battle, Hellion. <laughs> so strong, man. I hate those two. I hate everything about Terran Heart of the Swarm. They can destroy me and everything. Well, right. they did just uh, get rid of, you know, Blue Flame when you're in Battle Hellion mode, so. It's not good enough, man. The Radius. I thought they would be weaker after their, I, guess, I thought they were nerfs, but they actually got, like, way stronger um, in terms of what they do in damage. But anywho, this is uh, Wing Liberty. We do have Roaches moving across the middle of the map. There is a command center that will be focused down. Sea Shanks are getting a couple free shots, so uh, cancels it right away. Kills off a couple of Roaches, and I... <laughs> That roach. That's a dead. really interesting roach, Gorbs. Yeah. You gotta say, I've dissected quite a few roaches in my life, but never has one looked quite like that. Ew. Your, your class actually allowed you to dissect roaches? I can just imagine one getting away, and like two weeks later, your no, food has... No, that's just a lot what like, chickens look like when you cut them open. Ew, what? They kind of just have like... Stop, you're so nasty. I did not take that class. I didn't do it for classes. We did it to eat. Oh, I thought you meant like you actually killed like a live chicken and I like, did kill a live it. chicken. What the hell? With a machete. Wow. And we cut it open and we ate it. It's so weird to hear you say that because you're so proper, as Alex would say. Always dress up so nicely. I just can't imagine you with a cleaver. Well, I, you know, uh, <laughs> the cleaver. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> that's all I think, man. Cleaver's very different. You're so machete. barbaric. We didn't use cleavers. Cleavers for like chopping beef, and you don't use a cleaver on a chicken. It's a tool. It's, oh my god. It's a cutting tool. It's the first thing that pops in my head when I thought <laughs> you didn't you decimate that thing. <laughs> Oh, Poor man. Chicken, yeah, man. chickens don't really have... Um, they do have a lot of meat on them, actually, to be perfectly honest, but 
not so much that you need a cleaver. Oh my gosh. Hellions running by once again. Roaches are kind of sitting outside the natural in third, but Shuttle's okay with that, and these Hellions um, are nice not going to do Burrow for the now. win. Jukto does a Golden really good job of using proud. Burrow in the majority of his matches. This is literally like the seventh time we've seen him use Burrow to his advantage. Yep. Really underestimated uh, technology path. And he's going Roaches here once again versus Terran. And uh, it's worked out well for him in the past. See how it uh, manages to fare here. Roach. And drops as well. Yeah, I was going to say Roach speed and drops out of the way. Shuttle does have this path. Because that's basically what you do when you get drops against Terran. Yeah. Uh, Shuttle does have this path covered by that Raxo. Mm -hmm. uh, so drops become a little bit harder to pull off. Perhaps yeah, that's, like, that's a great point to make, actually, Tim. Is that, you know, when we saw this utilized before, uh, against Theory, I believe it was, on this very map, uh, it was, there was nothing there to see it. It was actually Crank. Uh, but yes, okay. so, uh, there's still, and here we go, the drop is happening. He did see it, actually, at first. Is he going to prepare for it? Missile turrets are going up right away. Shuttle is aware of the strategy that Juto has planned out, but he doesn't have anything on this high ground to deal with it. These chicks are all at the natural. And now we have Roaches in the main. There are two Banshees, though, in the sky. They're going to help get in a lot of damage, but uh, the SDVs need to make their way down to the natural. Right now, the command center has to be lifted off. He's taking a lot of damage. There we go. SDVs head down. That's going to be minimal economic damage. He will lose a tech lab. That's all he's really lost so far. Wow. Damage is limited to a tech lab so far. That's all he's killed. He'll get a missile turret. All right. I'm looking at the around. actual damage that's being dealt here, and it's very little. Yeah, Shuttle's actually doing a really good job of holding this. Incredible job. Uh, uh, pull up the unit's loss tab. It's going to be a lot you lost uh, for Juke 2, and not so much for Shuttle. Wow. Oh, what a hold, man. Yep, that was impressive. What we got to say about that. Banshees are going to be uh, dealing with the roaches that are popping out once again. Juke Siege tank microed back. This is some immaculate control, man. Same time, a huge force is heading into the middle of the map, and it looks like Juto is like, oh snap, that didn't work out as well as yep, it did last time. It did not. Uh, and he's still on Lair Tech, I believe. Yes, he certainly is. He is moving to 2 2 right away, but uh, again, he just lost so much that essentially those upgrades aren't going to be uh, really as good as they could have been if they waited a little bit longer. And now the shuttle pushes. That's the, uh, the, the shuttle right is pushing across the map. We'll see what he can manage to do uh, with this. He's at the, you know, 170 time. I mean, 170 supply is a great time to move out when you're a mech player. He's got plus two about to complete, but so does Juke 2. 2-2 two -two is finishing up here in just a second or two, and I think this attack might come in here in just a second. Shuttle needs to be careful with these tanks. I really like that uh, Shuttle has brought a Raven to shuttle these units down as well. Oh, Gonna be wow. quite helpful. Here's a drop, though. The drop is doing really good coming in from the left side as well. A small flank, and that was really well done, especially since there is no anti-air. Hydra Den is on the way to follow up this attack, but Jutu has had his force uh, decimate the mech of shuttle. Doing so well here. Banshee's going to do what they can in terms of killing off drones, which will be helpful. Number is increasing, but this huge force of roaches are heading to the third. There's a couple of sea sticks still left here. Yeah. Uh, but he can actually break these down if he wanted to, and maybe slither on around. Oh, he's going to drop on mining. the siege tanks. He's oh, going. Wow. He needs to unsiege these. This is the thing. Shuttle has to unsiege these tanks as this drop comes in. There we go. He's gonna, there we go. Gets the on siege, and now Juke 2 will turn away. If those tanks had stayed sieged, it would have been very much equitable to drop on them. So many more roaches coming, and he wants to do the drop. You're mentioning it, right? You can't drop that. I yeah. mean, the tanks will destroy these roaches. But the He's going to go too. for it. All right. Uh, should put the SCVs on auto repair. He's actually going to attack with them, but. I think it's my You know what? With 2 2, man, those roaches did a lot more than I thought they were going to be able to. Oh. Follows up with the attack. No time to siege. This is extremely well played out, Juke 2. Yeah, he's moving straight in, focusing down the siege tanks, not even bothering with the SCVs there. SCVs do get surrounded by we'll clean that up. Banshee's finally making it in, and uh, he is on three base economy, though, by the way, to, what is this, almost four to five bases compared to uh, Shuttle? Uh, Shuttle has yep. lost SCVs overall. Shuttle is staying in this. He's losing tank after tank after tank, but he has a massive economy. And as such, he's just been able to do a fantastic job of uh, staying in this game. Plus three vehicle weapons on the way right now for Shuttle. He's also going to be uh, continuing to pump out three tanks at a time, four Hellions at a time. Hydras are on the way right now. Oh Hydra drops. We've seen Violet use this to a great success in the past. We'll see how it works here for Juke 2. All right, man. So Hydra drops on the way. Careful for the missile turrets as these two do complete up as well. So it's going to be a little bit harder to drop on top of those siege tanks without taking a lot of damage. Uh, and actually, if you lose a couple of those overlords, suddenly you lose out on a lot of DPS because they're high in them. Not a lot of Hellions here, though. I would like to see more factories, actually, 
He's going for starports, actually. Two starports on the way right now, but the Hydras are dropping. Blue Flame Aliens not getting in the damage necessary because oh the gosh. Hydras dropped on top of them. Well, blood and guts splattering here from the Hydras as he's focusing them down. But again, the Roaches do make it in. There's nothing else to defend quite yet here. Banshee being focused down as well. So those Banshees that usually have been cleaning up the Roaches are dispatched of immediately here. Uh, Can you imagine if there were 20 Hellions with that army? The difference that would have made for Shuttle. I mean, he is just pulling incredible amounts of money right now uh, that he just cannot seem to get rid of. Also, go ahead and float away. Uh, setting down to the bottom right corner as he does have a base there. And he really needs a couple more factories. To be honest, his main is really well defended. I mean, yeah, he can start throwing a couple factories in there as well. There's no way you're going to drop into this and then maybe churn out a few of the Talians, as you've been mentioning. But uh, do we actually have to aware of the space in the bottom right corner? No. Planetary Fortress is going to be uh, on repair soon if Shadow jumps on top of it. You need to repair it. There we go. Jumping on the repair. The Roaches are focusing it down. With the Hydra jumping in, though, it will be enough to go ahead and break oh, that yes, Planetary it will. Fortress. Planetary has been broken as its pieces fall into the ground. Three siege tanks. That's not enough to kill this army. Juke 2 uh, is probably just going to load up here and drop on this. Uh, actually, there is a planetary covering these tanks and additional siege tanks. So that's actually a really nice uh, little positioning maneuver there out of shuttle. Juke 2 has finally moved into a fourth base here, checking into this harvester count. 73 to the 46 here of the Terran player. But Shuttle's still continuing to sit on hordes and hordes of money. Uh, really needs to get rid of this. And uh, translate it into units. It's a big reason he's losing this game. Manson is on the way still. And he wants to get these missile turrets up. They're so important for him. But Jukejo's just been so active with dropping that he can never really get a full uh, anti-air defense up. Rinse the overload drops him coming straight in. Yeah. Well... At this point, actually, I wouldn't mind him switching into a nice amount of racks down here and just suddenly showing up with a nice amount of Marines. That's a lot of tanks. Uh, we'll see if the Hellions can make it in time to tank for them. Wow. Wow. The majority of those Roaches actually were killed off pretty quickly. We have an engagement in the top left corner as well. The drops we dealt with, but these Roaches, man, so darn strong. 3-3 about to finish up two. 20 more Roaches on the way. Spire Tech being queued up. If he switches into Mass Muta, you know how much damage Mass Muta would do? Uh, I guess his army composition that has been yeah, here for Shadow. Yeah, up a lot of gas, he's too. He's going straight into Muta after this. Vikings finally popping out to focus down these Overlords, but it, it won't even matter as we're going to be having a Spire Tech out yep. very soon. This is going to be game ending. There's uh, not too much of a way that Shuttle's going to be able to deal with, you know, 15 Mutalisks hitting the field all at the same time. He has virtually no Thor, uh, no units that can shoot up. He's just got turrets, and they're not in the best locations for Mutalists. They're in a great position to deal with drops, you know, in tight clumps. Yeah. Where Shuttle can sit his army under the turrets, but... Well, this looks like he's going to go ahead and decide to move into Greater Spy here and just move to the Broodlord tech that is ever so famous. Uh, we're going to go ahead and have these siege tanks running away, but gosh, Juto is just taking siege tank by siege tank down. Uh, going to go ahead and bait into a couple of siege, mo or siege mode tanks. Uh, Vikings do land as well. Part of the swarms in an attic happening in there. Unfortunately, not an ultra skin rain. <laughs> uh, but, wow. Uh, sh shuttle. I feel like he has a chance to come back, but Jukejo's keeping up so much pressure that he can't ever make the comeback. He's losing units as they're literally popping out. He's staying in the game fantastically well, though. I mean, his economy, look at these bases. He's had this base down on the bottom right that has gone unscouted by Jukejo for so long. Let's click on these refineries and actually see how much gas has been mined at this base. He's got uh, six minutes of mining uh, off of these refineries. The minerals, as you can see, are getting quite low. In addition, top left-hand corner of the map, Shuttle has another hidden expansion that has just really gotten started. He's also had the four bases that a lot of the action has been held at for an amount of time also. So, I mean, the positioning here for Shuttle, he has a great economy, which is allowing him to stay in this game, but all of his trades have been horrendous because he can't catch up on that unit count. And still, we're seeing him pulling over a 1,000 of each resource, and it's not like he's saving up for Broodlords like Juke 2 is right now. Oh, man. It's going to go ahead and move forward. Nice amount of siege tanks have popped out. They do have 3 1 and upgrade, so a lot of damage can be put out mm. very quickly by these siege tanks. Roaches may have unbroed. I see lots of units that. Oh, nope. Okay. They are just waiting for that counter. Here we go. Engaging once again. Siege tanks are unseated at the moment. We have some seats up in the top right corner, and they're helping out. That's uh, a pretty good fight for Shuttle, actually. Yeah. He lost some siege tanks here. It would have been nice to have the Hellions in front and pull those siege tanks back a little bit, but overall, his siege tanks were firing there. The drones could be in a lot of trouble, uh, but the Queens will force the Hellions away. Too many Queens makes them pull back. It's just. Really the hard to get on the to way, that. though, Tim. 
But this is good for Shuttle, actually. He's going to see these broods when they're on the other side of the map. I'm actually really liking Shuttle's position right now. All right, Roach is charging forward. They're actually stuck behind the Queens. They're going to go ahead and run straight on in and get as much damage done as possible. Hellions doing their best to be micro on these drones. And with, with the uh, Corruptors revving that high ground site, going to be able to deal with the Siege Tanks. And that is going to be cleaned up. And he's actually still unaware of the Brood Lords. Shuttle does need some reactors on his starports, though. He can only make two at a time, and yeah, he didn't get to see the Broodlords, which was pretty bad for him, actually. He really needs to see these to know that, okay, I have to pump out a lot more <laughs> Vikings. Why just picked up so badly? I, I mean, you know when they'll come in, in uh, handy? When we're not looking at them? It, no, it's a base trade scenario, and yeah. all that's left is that refinery. And he'll lift those two roaches and win the game. Boom. GG. Just like life. That's exactly what I'm referencing, in case you guys missed the uh, life versus... Leenock? Hellion's getting roasted though, or Hellion's coming out here roasting some drones as the roaches will be roasting them afterwards. Uh, 75 harvesters have actually been killed off overall. Uh, very high game here in terms of uh, units killed off. 63 to 54 currently in the harvesters. Uh, 75 and 41, which is, uh, I don't even want to do math there, but it's a little <laughs> over 100. And by a little, I mean like 20 over 100. All right, so a lot of Broodlords, a lot of Corruptors, a nice amount of Roaches there for support. And it looks like Jukejo is getting ready for the uh, death-defying push. Going ahead sees and it, though. That. You know, Shuttle sees this army, Tim. He's getting Thors. He's got getting a lot Vikings. of Vikings and Thors, yep. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> He's expanding the top left corner. His economy. Finally under it. Okay. He has every base on the map, except if is not holding it, Shuttle's holding it, except for three bases. Thors do pop out. I think get a huge volley here. Yeah, they get a decent volley off at first. A lot of Vikings, to be honest with you, and the Hellions are actually dealing with the Broodlings pretty nicely. Yep. A Thor's getting off a lot of good hits. Can Shuttle hold this? The Roach is coming, but maybe be a little bit too late. The Broodlords are now under fire from the Vikings, and Shuttle is going to hold this. He is, and he's going to be able to turn around and push some aggression here, Tim. He's currently running on eight bases. He can pump out nonstop units from here, whereas Juktu, he just got his fifth in order. His drones just finished transiting over to it, and he is out of minerals completely. Queen's running. They will be going down for the Banshees and Hellions immediately there. Exploding on pinpoint. We do have Roaches down in the bottom right corner. Shuttle catches it in time, though, and will lift it off. Nice awareness there. Same time Finds this, this other base, though, but it's there. nine minutes too late. That gas has been utilized to extremely good potential. All right, so Meg moving forward right away. And as long as he isn't caught unseaged, Shuttle should be able to push into this natural start preparing right away. Uh, looking at supply, it's 199 to 127. Jukedo, really far behind supply. The economy, <laughs> the economy of Shuttle has won him this game. Uh, I mean... It's a 193 supply. I, I, Jutu doesn't have too many ways to come back from this. When he didn't win that engagement at the top, we knew the Shuttle's economy was just too incredibly good. He turned out all the Vikings necessary to deal with this comp, and there it is. GG from Jutu Shuttle is going to take game number one with an incredible back and forth uh, thing to start this set. Can show how strong those bases on a side for that map can be if they go unscouted. Yeah. Uh, just a really good job of constantly trying to expand, trying to become very aware of your surroundings. Um, and unfortunately, Jukto just, he was always very linear, always in the middle of the map, wanting to push straight across that natural on third, and it felt like he was so far ahead. Well played by Shuttle, man. I, I, really? I like the strategy. Um, there were times where we felt like he wasn't spending enough, you kept mentioning, but he just kept trying to expand, trying to grab as much bases as possible. Um, and Jukto, on the other hand, stayed on, what, two bases forever and a half, so. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, it was we're out. very close, though. A lot of times, yeah. to him getting knocked down. Uh, Juke two almost had him. You know, he, he was like three siege tanks saving the day. If he didn't have them, might have all been over. Well, guys, that was the map ESV Sidewinder. Let us know what you think about that. Let's go ahead and get ready for game number two as Juke will be picking his map.